Question comes from Sheffield, UK. Can I go to the cinema with my wife? Question involves good and involves bad. The concept of going somewhere with your wife, making time for your wife, this is a good thing. Me personally being an imam of a masjid, uh, whether I'm home in New York City or traveling abroad, brothers can bear witness to this. Abu Sa'id, how many times we have to counsel people? And a consistent theme in people's marriages is that my husband, specifically from the, the, the side of the woman, my husband doesn't spend enough time with me. My husband doesn't love me. He's not affectionate. He's not romantic. My husband, he never does anything special with me or for me. My husband just works. He prays and he leaves and that's it. My husband comes to me and he goes and that's it. My husband doesn't look at me with any worth or any value. I don't feel like I have a friendship with my husband. And the list goes on. So the concept of... Two different people we have now, uh, we seem two, two people. We have one, one brother who takes his wife to the cinema, right? And everyone's expecting, and obviously the brothers can see, we, we don't always answer questions in a conventional way, in an orthodox way. It's haram to go to the movies, it's this. And that's already, you already heard that and you're gonna hear that. But the brother who's taking his wife to the movies, please stay with me, that's one scenario. He takes his wife to the movies, not a super expensive restaurant, to the movies, takes her out. And then we have a brother who says, going to the movies is haram. Watching the movies is haram, it's taswir, it's music, it's ikhtilat, etc. Haram. All right? Two different brothers, two different scenarios. Allah knows best, Abu Sayyid, but perhaps if we interviewed and we talked to the sisters, the two wives, perhaps the sister who says that my husband takes me to the movies is happier in her marriage than the sister who says that my husband said the movies is haram and you can't go to the movies. What do you think, Abu Sayyid? Maybe not 100%, but it's a big percentage that the sister who's taken to the movies by the husband is what? Is happier than the one who says, haram, you can't go. Because there's something that's wrong. Something that's missing in this equation here. If you don't take your wife to the movies, which you shouldn't, don't take your wife to the cinema. It's not haram to take your wife to this place or to that location and to spend this time with her and to make her feel special and to be romantic according to the sunnah. But you can't Everything's haram, everything's wrong, and you don't give your wife any time and no attention. Know for sure your wife will what? Be unhappy, and she'll be afflicted with depression, and she'll have suicidal thoughts. And she'll, and she'll, and she'll, and she'll, and she'll, even though she's wearing all black. Gloves, niqab, everything is covered. Even though there's a library in your household. Even though, even though, even though. And the other sister, unfortunately, that may go to the movies, regardless of how she's dressed, she may have a better what? State of mind. So this is a reality. So oftentimes we lack balance. And oftentimes we lack common sense. Everyone understand what I'm trying to say? I'm not saying take your wife to the cinema. But I'm trying to say is to be a good husband. As the Prophet والسلام, he says, خيركم, خيركم لأهلي. وأنا خيركم لأهلي. He says, the best of you are those who are best to their families. And I, the Prophet said, I can say I'm the best from among you to my family. There's another version that says... Okay, my Jaya. And then say it's authentic, but said it's a version. What a it's mentioned. That no man treats his wife and his family honorably, except that he's an honorable man. And no man disgraces and debases his wife and his family, except that he is a base man himself. Except that he's a what? A base man, a base man himself. There are certain cultures in which when someone wishes to do business with someone, or to hire someone, or to bring someone into the inner circle. They don't look at the man. They don't talk with him. They don't ask about his character. But they observe how his family treats him. So he's invited over his house for dinner. We're going to talk about the business meeting or the agreement at the dinner table with your wife and children. And they pay attention. When he comes home, what do his children do? Do they run to him with open arms? Hey, Abby. And they jump on him. He can't take off his shoes. He can barely get into the house. And his children are what? One is on this leg. Another's on that leg. And another one is grabbing him by his neck. They look at this. His children aren't going to love him. They aren't going to look forward to him coming home except that he's a what? A good father. And he's a loving and kind father. And the same applies to his wife. There are many of us, we go home, our children, they remain playing the games that they're playing or reading the book. We'll do, oh, yeah, yeah, he's home. Or they may run away from us. Some of the pious predecessors, they would mention this with animals, with pets. Your cat, you walk into the house, what does your cat do? Does it walk up to you and rub your leg with its tail and purr? Or does it run away from you? So bad character, evil character, 
This is a problem that many of us have. And when we have bad character and nastiness, we cover it up and we perfume it with fake piety. We cover it with what? Fake piety. The cinema is haram. Don't take your wife to the cinema. Audhu billah, haram. Maybe. It's possible. But is it haram to treat your wife kindly? To curse at your wife? To insult her? To talk about her weight? To talk about this? To talk about her family? Which many brothers, what? Do. With beards, with thobes, and with huge sajda marks. So this is, that's a part of the sunnah as well. Everyone understand the point I'm trying to get to? It's very important. And Allah surely knows best. Try to find something else to do with your wife that's constructive. Try to find something else to do with your wife which is the permissible type of romance. And be your wife's friend, be the night ta'ala.